here. So today we are going to do another lipstick video for fall. This time I have uh, all black owned brands. So before we did the drugstore brands, um, I actually have enough drugstore lipsticks to do another drugstore video. So I might do that. Anyways, I'm rambling. But today we're doing black owned makeup brands. Um, and also real quick, just like we do at the beginning of every video, my hair is first day hair with like the Curls Blueberry Bliss Curl Cream as my leave-in. Not really sure how I feel about that as my leave-in. With some Fairy Tales gel on top um, and also some Kiss My Face upper management on the this side because I ran out of Fairy Tales. But yeah, I don't, I, mean, I don't know about that Curl Cream, but we're having like kind of interesting weather here today. I don't know if it's cold or hot or dry or humid, so I don't know. Uh, all right. So let's get it popping with these lipsticks. Yes, I am doing lip swatches. Thank you, Sarah, because she is the one who made me do lip swatches. Um, but anyways, okay, so this first one I have is uh, from Be Elegant Cosmetics. This is their liquid lip set from their fall collection. And it's called Butterscotch Martini. It is on my lips right now. And I really was surprised about this formula. It's a very interesting formula because Sometimes I find liquid lipsticks can be a little tacky. These dry down almost like a powdery feel, but they're not crumbly. They're not dry. I pretty much forget that I have it on after an hour. And this shade is really unique. I don't know how closely you can see that, but it has, it's almost, it's like a toffee color. It's not quite brown and it doesn't have too much orange or yellow in it. Um, I'm going to swatch on my hand today because last time when I was swatching on my arm, that got a little messy so here is the swatch and yeah it's just like one of my favorite lipsticks it just goes really well with a lot of things it's a nice nude I think it looks good you know with my skin tone and I also don't think it's too light where it will look you know too um, chalky or pasty on people with darker skin tones than me so that is the first one um, like I said we got four more so here we go. Next one, I will be right back. Gonna take this off, swatch it. Let's go. Okay, up next I have Zodiac from 93 Beauty. This is a beautiful, like muted um, lavender purple shade. And oh, just so you know, the Be Elegant is $15, I believe. I'm gonna put all this in the details because I'm not gonna remember because I buy lipstick like every other day. Truth be told, so um, I'm just gonna make sure you guys know where to get everything, how much it is, and the names of all the products on the sides, little title. I'm gonna put it all in the details. So this is um, a very similar formula to the Be Elegant. It dries very, um, almost like powdery, but it doesn't flake, doesn't crumble. It is not totally transfer proof. Like if I do this, it'll have like a light, like a kind of a light thing. Can you see that on my um, finger? but it doesn't, it's definitely kiss proof. So uh, that's always good. Um, yet, like I said, if you do eat oily food, all of these are going to come off. Like no lipstick is just total, you know, fireproof or something like that. Um, these are 12.50. I will say uh, that for this particular shade, um, this does maybe have some like pasty potential um, if you're darker toned. So um, they do have another purple called Amethyst that is a little bit darker than this one. So you may want to check that one out. Um, they also have really awesome satin liquid lipsticks, which are not as long wear, but they're more moisturizing. So if you have issues with dry lips or like we're getting in a winter right now, maybe you need some more moisture. So you may want to try those out as well. So let me swatch this one. Oh, and these smell like great. So here is the swatch for this one. Um, ignore that other blue swatch. I got another lipstick today. Don't worry about it. And I was swatching that one. Um, but yeah, this is 93 Beauty Zodiac. Up next, I have a Ginger Snap by Beauty Bakery. Beauty Bakery is basically one of my favorite indie brands. I just think the packaging is so cute. And you know me, I love anything gourmand. So they have like this bakery theme going on um, with these lip whips. 
and just how they need their products. And I just love their packaging. I just think it's absolutely adorable. And this one, oh, okay, so this one, in terms, in comparison to the other two, this is more liquidy. Um, and it dries down to more of like, I don't know, it's like a ta it's like a tattoo. These lipsticks are like a tattoo. They do not smudge, they do not, they're kissproof. They just like don't budge. Like I literally had um, a swatch of this on my arm and I had tried to, I was like trying to get it off with um, like coconut oil, but I didn't really feel like scrubbing really hard. I was being kind of lazy about it. I took showers with it. It was like on there for like three days. I thought I was just gonna have a lip swatch tattoo forever. Uh, but so yeah, just be aware of that because some people don't want to do the work to get them off. Um, but I'm totally fine with it, especially if I am doing something where I know that I'm not gonna have like really an opportunity to keep reapplying my lipstick all day because this will stay on like forever. This one is uh, smudge proof, as you can see, not coming off at all. Kiss proof. Um, if you press really hard, it's slightly tacky, but it doesn't color transfer, so it doesn't mess up the color. Um, all right, let me do this swatch. And this is such like a pretty shade. It's so, um, oh my God, it's so full. Oh, these look so pretty together. Oh, hello, hello friends. Yeah, whatever, let me alone. This one, it, re it just reminds me of cinnamon. I just think it's a really pretty color and it has like a little bit more red than the butterscotch. I think the butterscotch martini leans more like orangish yellow undertones and this is like some more red, um, kind of like clay. It looks like clay. Yeah. So that one's awesome. Um, these are $20. I know if you sign up for their email list, I believe you can get 10% off as well. So check that out. And they're coming out with some highlighters and some really cool things. Oh, they're coming out with an eyeshadow palette. Oh yeah, I have to buy that. Yeah, but anyway, so we are going to move on. We have two more, I have two more metallics to show you. Um, I'm going to hurry and get this off before it decides to really, really set, and then I <laughs> am like gonna be scrubbing. My okay, lips second to last lipstick I have to show you today. Uh, this is Chocolat from Glamorous Chicks Cosmetics. I actually got this at Afropunk. They had a booth there, so I got to like kind of test out the formula before I bought it, which was really awesome because the first metallics that I ever tried were from ColourPop, and if you have any of the ColourPop metallics, I think the colors are absolutely gorgeous but they do, you know, they smudge, and if you really like eat anything, or even if you drink a lot, like they're gone like that. So I actually thought that um, because it was metallic, I thought there was something that they had the, to put in the formula for them to be metallic that kind of um, makes them not as long wear, but I was totally wrong. Uh, these are $16.99, and the formula is very similar to the Beauty Bakery in the fact that they don't smudge, they're kiss proof, <laughs> like nothing is coming off here. Um, these are very, very long wear. I know I wore this shade like all day in New York and I was out um, eating and drinking and just having like a grand old time and I don't even think I reapplied my lipstick once all day. So that is awesome. And they're very, very nice. I enjoyed them at the booth. Um, all right, let me swatch this. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a copper. It's like a darker copper color. It's very pretty. A little bit. So there is that one. Looks very nice. Um, I have like four different lipsticks from this same company too because I really like their formula and they have really pretty colors and shades. Um, and just because, oh, some metallics, I feel like you have to do two coats for them to, you know, be really opaque. Um, but I find that is the case with the lighter colors because this is a darker color. I don't have that issue. This goes on with one coat and it stays um, all day. Okay, great. One more. That one was very fun to take off. So, um, oh, just so you know, I remove my liquid lipsticks with just like any kind of um, butter. I was using Coils by Nature their butter to remove these, um, and it works pretty well. So, um, but those are just, they're just harder to get off, especially, um, it took me like three coats of it to and wiping it to get it off this time. So I think my lips are pretty much like, girl, we done here. Um, so here I have 
Her by JD Glow. This is like a metallic um, blue black pretty much. Um, it is a dupe for Kylie Cosmetics, uh, Kai Majesty. And I wanted to show you the applicator because the other ones are just regular. Um, well, these two are flat, 9.3 and B Elegant are flatter. Um, these two are just regular doe foot applicators, but this is a long and flat one. So I find that I get a lot more product on this. Um, and because it's so long, you can kind of get a little bit better control, but you have to be careful when you first put it on because it is like a lot of product going on your lips at once. So you don't want to have like too many coats of it. Um, this also smells like vanilla. Um, I do find this formula to be slightly more liquidy than Glamorous Chicks. Um, these retail for $15. They come in this beautiful regal packaging that I love. And they have a lot of different colors and they're very, very pretty. Um, so this one, and I know like black lipstick really isn't for everyone. I personally love black lipstick. I don't care. I have this philosophy where I think that you can wear whatever color lipstick you want to because it's all about what you want to wear and what makes you feel good. Like my mom told me that no one should ever have black lips in life. Um, that's her philosophy. I'm not, you know, buying her black lipstick. But, you know, it doesn't matter. So here we go. Here's a swatch for this one. And I just love, like, there's like silver flecks in it. Um, it's just a very nice color. I think it's very pretty. And yeah, so those are my top five fall ones. I have several more. Thumbs up if you want to see more lipstick. Um, let me know. I can do like indie, drugstore, black owned brand drugstore, or no, black owned brand indie, not black owned brand drugstore because there basically aren't any. Um, but, or I can just do indie for everyone. So just let me know what you want to see. And uh, oh yes, we have a giveaway winner. So for the natural giveaway um, for the deep conditioner box, the winner is uh, Reserve Chic. Is it Chic or Chick? I don't know. It could be either one. Either way, you're the winner. And thank you so much for your support. And thank you for your comment. It's very, very sweet. Um, so please send me an email at lpixie at att.net. And I will get your information to the Natural Chicks. And they will um, send out your deep conditioning box. So that is pretty much all I have today, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. And, you know, I'm kind of having fun doing these little swatches. So if you want to see more, just let me know. Or I have so many different colors with lipsticks. If you want to see more comparisons or what colors you want to see, just let me know. And, again, thank you for watching. And we will talk later. All right. Bye-bye.